Hey, what's up? It's Matt for 360 Investigations, and welcome to part three of making a homemade footprint or ground cloth for the Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL2 long version of this tent. I'm sorry, that's a mouthful. In this video, I'm going to be talking about clips. Now, there's a lot of information I have found out and gone through in the past couple of days with this, so please bear with me as this video is going to be slightly longer than normal. So I'm going to first talk a little bit about these clips because I think after everything I've gone through and what I've learned, I think Big Agnes either makes these clips themselves or they're contracted with a company that has this specific design. Because over the past couple of days, it took me a while to even figure out what size this clip was. But even knowing that, the size clip that I wound up getting for this still doesn't work with it despite it fits and I got that information from some other post where they said well these fit and will work they really don't unless he was using some weird version of it because I can't find this specific version of this clip I found all sorts of 5 8 ones but I can't find this version so what I have here is the rain fly that's what this is attached to now the tent body over here has the bottom part of this clip which this goes into and it locks in orange for orange and gray for gray now the footprint that Big Agnes sells has this clip this specific clip on the footprint and it's in all four corners now, what I'm going to show you with this, I've repeated with all four corners of the rain fly. So, I just want to first also explain how Big Agnes put this together because I had a serious problem with mine and I'll explain it in a minute. So, first of all, I'm not really sure exactly what to call this, but this, um, this specific way this clip is built, it has two parts to it. One part has this, uh, sorry, one part has this for it and then it loops through and goes through that way and it so you can use it to tighten okay so this clips into the bottom and you use this to tighten it creates tension that's how it works on the rain on the uh, footprint now big Agnes threads this through first comes back around and then sews it together this is so not only does it stay but it makes it really difficult to be able to do anything to this clip so let's say you wanted to replace it the way they have this sewn as you can see it's not just going to fit through this little hole here so I just wanted to give you a little background information on how they do this now the clips I got were 5 eighths and it took me forever to even find them in a store and I finally got them from Joanne Fabrics because they were labeled something else now the clips that I have purchased don't have this excess sec section on it it's one loop so it just hangs there and as you can see i have it on here and remember what i did to this one side i've done to all four corners of this rain fly so um in case you're wondering how the hell i did this <laughs> so as you can see it's loose um and explain when i realized that i didn't have a way to tighten this because this would be a hell of a lot easier just to put this drone tight in I sat for a very, very, very long time trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to get this on here. Now, if, you, if I put it in front, I could have sewed it. But the problem here is I have no way to tighten it. So what I did was I wound up managing to be able to pull. Obviously, I did it. But let me explain what the issue here with this is. When I first did it, I only put it behind this and then I tightened it. But the problem here is I still couldn't tighten this because it would just, it would, it would just literally wouldn't stay. So what I figured out was to put this clip closer to the tent. And then what happens is I would use this clip to tighten this one because once this goes, this locks. So I can actually tight, use this clip to get the tension on this one. So what I want to show you why this is an issue is because the way this clip is done on the bottom, you can't just put this into here. It won't even fit. It won't fit. So the issue here 
is I had to figure out a way to do all this. And so what I did was the tent, the, the footprint for the tent has one clip on it. So what I just did was I used this clip, the, the clip that I purchased, and I'm just putting that on the bottom of the tent, the footprint for that. It's going to clip in. It's very simple. So instead of using this one, I'm using this one. And then this allows me to tighten it. But to get this on here, I sat and I thought about cutting this like here because I could re-sew it. This is just a reinforcement. Then I thought about trying to cut. Then I figured this wouldn't work because there's this line right here where they stitched it still wouldn't allow me to go through this. So I thought about cutting the stitches here to open it up and then re-sewing it. But I didn't want to disrupt the way this was done. At the same time, I didn't want to break this clip. So, after about an hour, I figured it out. What happened is, as a kid, I would always find a way to do things that weren't really supposed to be done. And I remember a procedure I used to use to get something bigger to something smaller that would, you know, go. And what I did was, I used tape to make a smooth edge to make the edge blend in. Now that doesn't get rid of the bump, but I did blend it in. So what happened is this bump would be kind of be forced to be pulled through. In order to actually force it, I had to use vice grips. So I literally put a piece of tape around this to get it, to get it even. I then started pushing it through and then I literally had to use vice grips to pull it through. And I only pulled in the web webbing and I only pulled this part of it so it didn't disrupt the clip. This clip was strong enough and I very carefully weaved it through and I finally managed to pull it out. And so once you get it out and you can get it back in, I still had to use the vice grips to get it back in, but now what happens is I have this on there with its own clip without really damaging anything, kept it the exact same and I can tighten it and the, I don't have to worry about using these clips and I don't have to destroy these. Now if this fit right into this, the bottom of this tent, this would, this, I wouldn't even care. But the fact remains, if I had taken this off, I can't do that. Now I could have easily taken this off and replaced this clip with this one. The problem is you can't do that with the bottom because the bottom is an individual piece. It's literally sewn this piece is one piece sewn to the tent. The only way to get around that, actually that wouldn't even work either because you see this hole right here? This is where the tent poles go. So the tent poles go in and then it clips the rain fly to it. Oh yeah, this, they, really, they really made this ridiculous. So what happens now is when the rain fly is put on the footprint, the footprint itself has a has a uh, grommet in it where the tent poles go through and then the clip from the rain fly goes into the tent footprint. I'm going to show you all that later, but I just wanted to talk about the clips and show you exactly what it is that I did and the way I had to do it. And this was such a pain in the ass, but now that it's done again, I did this on all four sides. And that's it. That's literally how this operates. So... Again, sorry for the long drawn out uh, video, but I really wanted to go into detail on that in case you wanted to do this yourself. And this is basically how this works. That's it. So stay tuned for part four, which I should be uploading at some point in time tomorrow or something or the next day. So that's it. Map 360 Investigation signing out. Have a good one.